Hello, I'm Harry Hall. We've been talking about project meetings. Again, maybe that's your one of your pet peeves. And I'm looking for ways to make sure that our meetings are more productive. One of the problems that we have, we leave our meetings and there's unclear direction. You know, there's a number of reasons that that may occur. Project managers may fail to follow up on meeting items. Furthermore, he or she may not have a method for capturing uh, items during the meeting, action items, and decisions. So, have you ever heard of the, of the RAID log? Let me just share with you this right quick. And you, should, you could do these in individual spreadsheets, but there are even RAID applications that are integrated that have all of these different attributes uh, within that application. Uh, either way, here are the things that we ought to be recording and then following up on as project managers from the project meetings. First of all, uh, RAID uh, is an acronym, and the R stands for risk. So we capture threats and opportunities in the risk register. Second of all, the A in RAID stands for action items. So things come up in the meeting, actions that need to be taken. We want to be clear about when we discovered that action, uh, who's going to act, who has responsibility for carrying out that action. Uh, we would record information as they take action on the outcomes of all of that. So we want to be sure we capture not only the risk, but action items. And then the I in RAID stands for issues. Now, what is an issue? You know, as we identify th threats in our projects uh, under that category of risk, when those uh, threats actually become material, they uh, actually occur, we call those issues. And so we want to capture the date that the issue occurs, uh, who is going to manage that issue going forward. And then the D in RAID stands for decisions. Uh, other people uh, use dependencies. So let's go down the track of decisions here for a moment. So as key decisions are made, uh, capture those decisions in a decision log or in your RAID application. I hope this has been helpful. If you have other tips that you'd like to share, please feel free to drop those in the comments. And I look forward to uh, seeing those and responding to any questions that you might have.